Before we get started, I just wanted to give you guys a quick disclaimer. Personally, I have taken a look at this leak already, and I do believe that this is probably fake, so just remember to take that with a grain of salt. And with that being said, enjoy the video. How's it going everyone? Chris here and welcome back to another Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC leak discussion video. In today's video, we are actually going to be taking a look at a brand new image leak which actually showcases a potential brand new character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and it actually has an image of the character select screen so a lot of people may in fact believe that this is real. However, I personally believe that this is fake, so make sure you guys take this with a grain of salt and realize that I'm talking about this just for fun. Unfortunately guys, I do not have a link to the original post as this image was sent in to me, so everything that you guys are going to need to see in this video is going to be up on screen. And now guys, with all of that out of the way, I have to tell you guys where this leak came from. So guys, this thing was sent in to me by one of my subscribers on my Twitter, so if you guys haven't already followed me on Twitter, you can find a link to it, as well as links to all of my other social media presences, such as my Twitch and Patreon, in the description bar down below, as well as the pinned comment. And now guys, with all of that out of the way, like I said, this is just an image leak, but it does show off the character select screen, as well as the potential character's new icon, so let's just go ahead and take a look at what this leak is, and try to determine if it is real. So guys, as you can see on screen right now, here is the supposed image of a brand new fighter in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and right away I'm sure all of you guys know who this character is, because it's obviously a character that lots of people really want to see in the game. Now one of the things I want to go ahead and say right now, is that I am not actually sure if this is like going to be the next DLC fighter, or if this is going to be a future DLC fighter, because... As you can see, right next to Terry, it actually cuts off in the first side of the picture, and then after that, we don't actually see who Gino is next to, so it is possible that this is meant to represent like a future DLC fighter or something else like that, so yeah guys, like, just know that this is probably meant to be the fifth DLC fighter, however, it could be a little bit later down the line. Now, one of the things that I want to go ahead and say is that yes, there are lots of extremely talented people out there who make stuff like this every day just for fun, so even though this is an image leak, that doesn't automatically guarantee that this is going to end up being real, so just remember to take it with a grain of salt once again. Now, one of the things that I want to go ahead and say about this image leak is that, yeah, it's a pretty blurry picture, and a lot of people may believe that this is in like the beta form or something else like that, and honestly, if this is real, yeah, this is definitely coming from the beta where they are currently testing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and this is not probably going to be the final model. For those of you guys who weren't already aware, back before we knew the final characters that were going to join Super Smash Bros. Ultimate before DLC, and the Super Smash Ultimate Direct was right around the corner, and we all thought that the Grinch League was real, there was actually a leaker who came forward and gave us some real information about characters. Basically, what he said was, is that there are characters right now that he is testing in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate that have not been, been released quite yet. Obviously, we know that this is real because he posted the name of like the project, it was Cross 2 or something else like that, and he told us that the Grinch League was fake, and we were just going to be getting three characters being Incineroar, Ken, and Piranha Plant, and then after we got the, the last Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Direct before it released, yeah. We found out that that was absolutely real, so there are actually people that have their hands on unreleased characters, so that way they can make sure that they're balanced and they play correctly and everything else like that. So just remember that when we're taking a look at this. Now, I decided to go ahead and do some digging to see if I could find any renders that closely match this one, because obviously, if there is a render that is available to the public that we are actually able to see, and it does look very similar or exactly like the one that are in the leaks, then it automatically deconfirms it, and as I was looking guys, I did find one that was basically exactly the same, it's actually a little bit more of a clear picture, so as you guys can see on screen right now, I believe that this is the render that was used in making this fake leak. Now, 
obviously they don't look exactly the same and i think that the reason for that is because the picture that we're taking a look at in the leak today is obviously like a little bit more blurry and it looks like someone took it off like a computer screen or a tv screen or something else like that so but i do have to say that like these images are basically identical so at this point yeah i am definitely starting to believe that this leak is fake now, I understand that there are a lot of Geno supporters out there, and lots of people really want to see Geno join Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as DLC. However, guys, we know for a fact that even if this render does end up being real, this most likely is not going to be for the 5th DLC fighter. Now, the reason I say that is because for the past couple of days, we have been talking about leakers like Sabi and Vergaben, and they have both come forward and given us a ton of names of characters that have actually been deconfirmed in the game. So obviously characters like Doom Guy, Ryu Hayabusa, Gino, Crash Bandicoot, and the list goes on have already been deconfirmed. So yeah, guys, even though like this guy is trying to make us believe that Gino is going to be the fifth DLC fighter, or maybe a fighter that's a little bit later down the line, at this point I have to say it's fake. Now, once again, guys, I do understand that it is entirely possible that Gino could be joining a little bit later. However, he definitely is not going to be the fifth DLC fighter. And it hurts me to say that because honestly, I would love to see Gino join Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So, yeah, hopefully we do end up seeing Gino really soon. But at this point, I can't believe that this is real. And guys, I know that a lot of you are probably disappointed that this did end up being fake. However, we have to remember that there is still a leak out there that has not yet been deconfirmed that a lot of people still believe that is real, and honestly, I do as well. Obviously, the leak that I am referring to is the Mii costume leak which recently came out which had a picture of Mallow from Super Mario RPG as well as the Chacho Demon from uh, Doom as me costumes in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and yeah, like I said, that hasn't been deconfirmed quite yet. Now, I understand that there are lots of people out there that are really good at, like, modding me costumes and modding Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. However, for some reason, although all of those other ones have been debunked, this one has not, so it is possibly real. Let's not forget, guys, that we actually did have a real leak that happened a while before the final Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Direct, where they announced a bunch of characters with Ken in it, and lots of people thought that that leak was going to end up being fake. However, we now know that that leak was 100% real, so this one could be as well. And if this leak is real, then there are a couple different scenarios that could happen. First of all, if we do end up getting this leak confirmed as real, we might just get the Mallow Me costume and the Geno Me costume could be nowhere to be seen. Obviously, I don't think that's going to happen, so yeah, that's very unlikely. Another scenario is we could get the Mallow Me costume and then the next time we get a Square Enix character, such as Sora in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, they could also release Geno. But honestly guys, the scenario that I think is definitely going to happen is that we are going to get a Mallow Me costume and then later on down the line, Geno is going to be released as a playable character as well. Like I said, it could go any of those ways, but considering that Nintendo knows how many people love Super Mario RPG and Geno, I could definitely see Sakurai adding him in, especially because once again, Sakurai has said before that he wanted to add Geno into Super Smash Bros. Brawl because he just thought that he was a cool character, and like Sakurai said guys, it is more important that a character is fun than recognizable, and Geno would be a super fun character to play as. I mean, come on, he has a gun for a hand, he'd be awesome. However guys, with all of that being said, going back to this leak, at this point I do think that it is very obvious that this is fake. As much as I want to say that this leak is real because honestly, I would absolutely love to see Geno in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I just can't see this being real right after we found that render that looks basically exactly like this. Like I said, there are tons of talented people out there in the world who make stuff like this every day just for fun. I mean, let's not forget that Artsy Omni fooled the entire world when he released the infamous Rayman leak back in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS, so yeah, we know that it's pretty easy for people to make stuff like this, and once again, as much as I would love for this to be real and for Geno to join Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as the 5th DLC fighter, it just doesn't look like it's going to happen at this point. However guys, with all of that being said, make sure you guys let me know your thoughts about this leak in the comment section down below. Do you guys believe that this leak is real and Geno is going to be joining Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as the 5th DLC fighter? Or do you guys think that this leak is fake but Geno still has a little bit of a chance later on down the line? Let me know in the comments. 
So thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, share, and like. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.